it will impact many areas of our daily life. The biggest one I think is going to be healthcare because your voice carries information about your state of mental and physical health. And it is a biomarker for many serious diseases which leave signs, which have signs in the voice, so signatures in the voice, much before those signs appear physically strongly enough to be diagnosed. So you can, you can catch some of the very serious diseases very early. And hopefully that will lead to more better treatment outcomes for those diseases. Then the other uh, aspect in which it will impact healthcare is through telemedicine. So I was in Rwanda last year and I learned that there is one doctor for 400,000 people in Rwanda. There are areas in the world that don't have access to healthcare. But there are more cell phones on earth today than there are people. So people, the cell phone services are ex expanding faster than healthcare services, right? So if these people could just call into a machine, and if the machine could, if there was something serious going wrong with them, if the machine could just warn them and tell them, go see a doctor, it might save their lives, right? So it's, I'm, I'm hoping this technology will impact healthcare in that way. It's also, voice is also going to be a, a good diagnostic aid for doctors, just like x-ray, for example. It's another way of looking into the human body, right? So with a better diagnostic aid. I'm not going to say it's better than x-ray, but it's going to be in addition to x-ray another diagnostic aid. With an additional diagnostic aid, doctors can diagnose more confidently, perhaps, and, and it may help save lives at the end of the day. So that's one area. Another area is uh, crime law enforcement, security, because your voice is so unique, it can be used as a biometric, as, a bio, as, as, a, as something that can be used to verify you, right? So uh, also, as I mentioned in my talk, there are many crimes being committed through voice, and profiling technology can help describe the criminals, so probably help the police at least narrow their search for potential criminals. It is a new kind of fingerprint. It is very, very unique. It is the chances that any two voices in the world are the same are less than one in a trillion. It is so unique to you and it is, if utilized in the right way, it is as potent a biomarker or as a biometric as your DNA and your blood. And Deep learning is only one of the, one of the tools that we use. The idea of profiling is not new. I mean, humans have been curious about the human voice since centuries. The earliest record of research on human voice, the kind of reactions it evokes is, you know how old is that? Second century AD, Julius Pollux left some record. So humans have been curious about the human voice. It's not like they've not thought about getting this kind of information from the voice. They just did not have the tools for it. Now we have artificial intelligence and that's not limited to neural networks. We can design systems that will look into the voice in a way that humans can never look into, right? And so that's why we are able to get all that information out. Neural networks are one, they are the first in a series of what is to come of algorithms that have artificial intelligence, right? And, and this, this brings us to the question of what is artificial intelligence? Because if you don't understand that, then it's not, my statement will not be very clear. So let me clarify that if I have your permission for that. So, Machine learning algorithms that accomplish certain tasks, they are set up and designed to do it with the knowledge of what they will do, how they will do it, right? They are designed with very, very deliberate theory behind them, right? Now think of another set of algorithms where that are able to accomplish the same task, but they don't need to be designed. You just give them some data, tell them to do 
the task and somehow they accomplish that task and you don't even need to know how they do that. That, that is intelligence that is emerging. It's emergent intelligence. And that is artificial intelligence. That's what neural networks as algorithms, that's what they represent. But they're only the first generation of AI algorithms. They're going to be better and more powerful ones in the future. There are lots of challenges that are remaining. One of the things that we need to understand is the range of variation of the human voice. There are no, there are no studies or strong studies about it. We don't know how much we can, how well we can disguise our voice, how much we can vary our voice. And unless we know that, we won't know how to profile accurately in the presence of voice disguise or variation of voice. That's one of the things. There, we would like to see what the, we would like to study what the, the voice of humanity is. We have not sampled all kinds of people across the world. Uh, the more we see of the human voice, the more we study of the human voice, the more things we will discover. And we discover almost on, you know, monthly, weekly basis, we are discovering things about the human voice in our group. So there's so much to discover. The, the, the depth of the human voice is amazing.